Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a watch originally launched in 2012, updated with the dial you see here in 2017, and improved to offer the option of a Jubilee bracelet for 2021. So this is the latest version of the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Sky Dweller, reference 326934 with a white gold bezel and a stainless steel case and bracelet. So the watch is 42 millimeters in diameter. It is 13.9 millimeters thick. From lug to lug, it is 50.6 millimeters and the end link to end link total distance across the wrist is 52.7 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Now you pop that clasp open, throw the watch on the wrist. I always felt that the Sky Dweller looked like a giant date just in case, in bezel, in dial, and now it has the bracelet to match as the two, the date just and the Jubilee bracelet, inextricably linked since 1945. So we really do have the look of a much larger, bigger, and bolder date just, albeit with a lot more functionality. Now on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, you can see the watch fits well. Surprisingly, there's no real problem fitting it underneath the cuff and the timepiece is small enough that I could recommend it for a wrist of 15 centimeters circumference. Taking a quick look at that bracelet, again, the Jubilee, created for the Jubilee anniversary, 40 years of Rolex in 1945. It launched with the Datejust, but over the years it's found its way onto other models. You can see it has polished centers, satin shoulders, a little bit of a taper, a conforming end link to better join it with the case, polished outer faces, removable links fixed by screws, all solid link bracelet. We have a thick gauge folding clasp, and you you can see there is a beacon to hook internally, a lift lock system that gives you a lot of security when it's closed. There are three divots inside the clasp, so you can use your strap tool to change the anchoring point by moving the spring bar. And then you have a five millimeter in and out snap-based tool-free adjustment system called Easy Link. Now, Rolex makes its own dials, movements, cases, clasps, and bracelets, so all of this was made at Rolex. It has its own foundry. It uses 904L steel, which is a more corrosion-resistant version of stainless steel than the 316L typically used in watches. Rolex also makes its own gold alloys, and here it uses gray gold. It's an 18 karat white gold alloy that is white all the way through and never needs to be rhodium plated. We have here a steel twin lock crown. That's what that little single slash means. Screw down crown, 100 meter water resistant watch. Let's do a loom shot real quick. Rolex also makes its own loom, chromolite blue loom. The dial is a lovely sunburst blue, and one of the big improvements from 2017 onward was the use of a dial color GMT disc. So you have the secondary time zone that's in a 24-hour format, and it is the same color as the metallic blue sunburst dial. Rolex crown indices and hands are 18 karat white gold, so over time they won't tarnish, oxidize, or fade. Inside the case, Rolex caliber 9001. Automatic winding, 40 joules, 70-hour power reserve, a certified COSC, but then adjusted beyond so that the watch will run no worse than minus two plus two seconds per day as a fully assembled watch. It has a stop seconds function, a quick set function, it has a GMT function, it has an annual calendar, so it only needs to be adjusted once a year during the jump from February to March. And of course, it is a robustly built movement with an anti-magnetic niobium zirconium hairspring that is shaped in a Breguet overcoil fashion, so the watch keeps good time in any physical position. It has a rotor bearing rather than the previous Rolex jewel, uh, jeweled staff, which would have been a little shock tolerant. The rotor bearing used here is tougher, and it has a full balance bridge with a free sprung index to make it tougher still. Okay, let's talk about how you use this movement. You screw out the crown. In the first position, you can wind the watch. It's an automatic winder, so that's not necessary. Now, when you pull the crown out, first position, nothing happens. Turn the ring command bezel one click counterclockwise, and now you have a quick set system, so you can adjust the date and the month indicator in either direction. Now, if you look carefully, you can see there are little apertures outboard of each hour, 12 hours, 12 months. That's how the watch tells you, for example, uh, you are looking at October 31st. Now, I can move this calendar back and forth. See how the little index jumps from window to window? It is a bi-directional annual calendar. It gives you the month and the date. Now, the watch is still ticking. 
turn one more click counterclockwise. Now I can set the local time, and you can see the watch again is still ticking. I can drive the date forward, but not backwards in this mode. Finally, turn it all the way counterclockwise. The watch hacks, the balance stops, it beats away at eight beats per second, now it beats zero. And I am able to adjust everything in sync, and that includes the 24-hour secondary time zone. Keep in mind, you adjust that first, then you make your adjustments to the local time, and then then you make your adjustments to the date and the month. It works just like that. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.